race now. He's about to go against the best of the Soviet heavyweights, Igor Vysotsky, who twice was good enough to defeat Teofilo Stevenson, the heralded heavyweight of Cuba. Mohamed, take over. Well, I'm a little tired now. I understand this was the best man that saved the last. I'm um, going into my rope rope style, letting him throw most of the punches because this is his first round and my fifth round. Uh, I think later on we threw a few good punches, but I'm not really in top shape and I didn't want to really take no shots at these fellas or try to hurt them because they didn't have headboards on. They are amateurs. This is the first time a professional has ever been allowed to compete uh, before a crowd, or especially a paid crowd in the Soviet Union, a communist country against the amateur. So I didn't want to really do nothing to make him say, well, see, that professional shouldn't have fought him. He hurt him. So the point just... I'd like to make, Mohammed, excuse me for just a second, is these men are really the equivalent, though, of our professionals because they don't turn professional in the American sense of the word. And yeah, so... Yeah, physically, but not experience-wise. These are really good amateurs that never fought on three rounds, but they're just older amateurs and more stronger. But they're not really experienced. And, uh, but they're good. They keep coming. Vysotsky is a very quick-handed but short-arm fighter. Very quick -handed. Yeah, short arms, and, and but he hits real hard. I think I opened up a couple times in a corner, and we were looking to see when I did, but I don't, I think I opened up, got a few shots in. I don't hear them whistling. There he's got me in the corner. Uh, I'm watching myself. I don't want him, as I said earlier, get cut or get a cut limp or a bloody nose or uh, something because I've got this fight coming with Spinks. And we got small gloves on, 10 ounces, no head guards. Users, uh, exhibitions, you were a head guard. But they made this look as much like a fight as they could to make it attractive. The gloves are small and there's no head guard and it gives the people the idea that it's really a fight. So, so I had to be real careful and make sure I didn't get no cuts or bruises. Watching Vysotsky, it looked to me like he took this seriously. He wanted to... Well, they were serious. They were serious. And it's more serious than it looks. Looking at it, you can't really tell. Like being in that field... Now he's going to your midriff. My thinking is that this round, I didn't do too much. Just stalking him and making him throw the punches first get him set up to where when the second round comes. There are a couple of good jabs I landed. Now again, you're in the corner, the rope -a -dope. And this kid, with those quick hands, moves from go. the head uh, to the stomach. Look at there's this. There's a couple of them. Rock him. There you go. I'm kind of I'm doing a little to him there now. And there was a good little slug out for a minute or two. He caught a few good ones. I caught a few. Well, you but if I had this. one of these guys for 10 or 12 rounds or 15 rounds, I think you could then see the professional ability come out, but they're good for two or three rounds. Okay, we'll be back with round two. Ali against Vysotsky in a moment. Ali fighting his sixth round and admittedly out of shape. Muhammad, take over. Right now, as you said, I'm out of shape. This is sixth round. But still, I managed enough to must up enough to at least go the distance and look halfway decent with a pretty good fighter. Right now he's throwing a lot of body punches, and my thing is to stay in front of him, don't get cut or get hurt. Mainly, just let him throw most of the punches because he's got a lot of enthusiasm, he's fresh and I'm, this is his second round, my sixth round. And I might, in the end, throw a few blows, but I'm really tired, Howard. I'm so tired now, I want to just go ahead and call it a day. But the people are there, I realize you're going to be talking, and it's going to be on your show. And I'm managing to just just go through this thing. Six or two of the rounds is enough to tire anybody, even good fighters that are young and in shape. So I'm just stalling and just letting time go by and filling them out. And after a few rounds, a few more seconds, I might try to throw one or two punches. If you keep watching, I might throw one or two quick punches. I might land one or two just to keep something happening. But that's about all. resemblance between Vysotsky and Leon Spinks. No resemblance and no resemblance between me, the way I'm going to look that night to right now. I'm not moving right now. I'm not dancing. I'm not doing too many punches. I'm just stalling for time. This guy's got a lot of energy. And for me to 
try to move with him. Here I might throw one or two little punches. For me to try to move with him, I'd have to move a little faster than him, and that's kind of hard to do. This is a young man here, and as I say, it's the second round in my sixth round, so I just put him right hand there. When you brought the place yeah. to life with that quick yeah, overhand right. There's, there's another left, there's another left. There's another one where I missed him. There's one, two, right hand just caught him. Left hook, two left hooks. One, two points, just barely down. The American Marines are shouting Ali, Ali. In the past, this gave me a little extra energy, but they won't do too much. Of it. One, two points just caught him. The referee just warned him from a button and too close, button heads. Remarkable that you're still virtually unmarked after all the years. I must say. I'm real lucky, Howard. I got the, some people got sharp bones and sharp features and they cut easy. I will, the features are flat and I don't cut too easy. I just hit him with a good left hook, left jab. He missed a right, I missed a right. We're coming to the end of your action against Vysotsky.